Hello everyone. It's t almost two o'clock, I believe. Yeah, it's 1.51. We didn't just wake up. We've been up for a while. The landlord actually stopped by our house for a minute to drop off air filters. What? We're not leaving. So we've been up for a while, but we just were like, it's Saturday. We're just gonna hang out for a minute. But finally I was like, let's go eat food. I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna find something to eat. Um, I got this jumpsuit on Instagram. It just barely came yesterday. Super cute. But I was like, I have to wear it today. Because I want to. And so I also curled my hair because I did a shine treatment yesterday and my hair is so shiny. I'll have to show you what the shine treatment is. Um, I actually got it from Jordan's party, but anyway, I got cute because I wanted to look cute and I have to be able to get stuff out of our car so that we can go because my parents are going to Spirit Halloween and I said I wanted to go with them. And it's pouring again. So I'm just waiting for Ty's upstairs. So he's grabbing me a jacket. And he's gonna come move his car so that I can actually move some stuff into here. It's been raining for like three days straight, mind you. I looked out the window earlier when we started unpacking and it was sunny and there was not very many clouds in the sky. And I think it started raining in because I said, oh, look, it's sunny outside. Not anymore. Yay. <laughs> Boom, my hair is protected. It's protected. Now we can go outside. We went to both Spirit Halloween and Ace um, because we just wanted to look around. And so now, yeah, Ty got a costume for Lizzie's birthday party on Monday. But look how dark the cut is on my lip. Let me see. Look how dark it is, just compare it. Hmm. Anyway. Now we're going to get dippy tacos because my parents have an addiction. And I want a burrito, but they have huge burritos. There's no way I'm gonna... You wanna just share a beef burrito with me? Maybe. We'll see. Not we'll see. We'll see. See, so you're my favorite person the whole entire world. Going? I would never turn down your burrito offer. I turn down your food all the time. See, I love you. I would never turn down your beef burrito offer. Who's gonna win? Are you gonna win, as? I know. Maybe. Oh, no, I went before. Yes! Oh, I win! I told you you'd win. Let me bite again. I was just scared. I was so scared. That looks like a fun one. But you look done just a little bit. You look tired. Did I just take a nap at eight o'clock? I did. It is now nine thirty. Honestly, I needed it. I, I know I could have, uh, I know we could have just gone to sleep for the night, but I have to edit and I have to do all these things. So, yeah, but now I'm eating peanut butter jelly, some fuel before I edit. I just finished editing a video. It took a little bit long, <laughs> it felt like, but that's okay. Um, but I'm hungry. 12:30, so I'm gonna make some rice super quick and then we'll go to bed but yeah maybe I don't know you never know with us sometimes we say we're going to bed and then sometimes as in all the time we say we're going to bed and then we never do so I know that we have like absolutely no vlog today we didn't really do much today 
we woke up really late because I don't know why we were absolutely drained. We were exhausted today. Oh, just because we were up all day moving. Had to get the entire house packed and we finally did. But yeah, we made it back. And I don't even think we said we made it back to the house. But we went out. We went to the game store. We went to all the different little shops. We went out to dinner. And then we went. Because Danielle had to pick something up at the parents' house. We went to go get that. And we just literally just been hanging out here. Uploaded some footage. And that's, that's about it. We have just been hanging out in the new house. But... Danielle went downstairs to make rice because she was hungry, but I just wanted to vlog and say that, just say that she did that by herself because for her, that's a really big thing because she's had really bad separation anxiety since moving out here, just because it's like 10 minutes farther away from everybody, especially from her parents. And that's a really big thing for her. So it's been really hard for her. And so usually like if she goes somewhere, she needs to know where I'm at in the house or at least like in the same room where the farthest is literally just like in that bathroom. And so, but she offered to go downstairs by herself. I said, if she needs me, she can just text me. I'm totally down, but she, she's doing great. She's, it's, it's probably gonna take a minute for her to get really comfortable, but I'm proud of her. I just wanted to say that because I don't think she, I don't know if she's going to say it or not, but, but yeah, she's, she's doing great. All right. So I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you guys right now. Um, I don't like being downstairs by myself right now or anywhere by myself in this house. Not because it's bad, not because anything's wrong with it. Um, before where we lived, we were seven minutes away from my parents and like 10 minutes away from Ty's parents. So we weren't far from anyone, right? Um, I have major separation anxiety. I didn't used to until about the beginning of this year. Um, and then I really just like got it really bad. Um, moving from that house seven minutes away to here, we're more like 20 minutes away now. Um, which again, that's not a big deal. Um, I'm more fortunate because like, like Mara, for example, she lives like three hours away from her family. Some people live halfway across the world. Some people go on missions. Some people do all these things. And I only live next 10 minutes away now, you know? So it's not a problem, but it's the farthest away I've ever lived. And... I've never had separation anxiety like this before. Like, it was actually kind of sad because <laughs> we were talking to my family yesterday at dinner and we were talking about how when we were little, um, Savannah used to have a lot of anxiety. Um, she used to have to go and stand by, sorry, um, stand by the window and wave as my mom was leaving. And, um, if she didn't do that, she would have major panic attacks. And when she went to school, she had a hard time and all of these things. Savannah had a lot of anxiety and she's gone really a lot better with that. And Branson, which before anyone goes in the comments, cause I know there's gonna be someone who says, why would Branson say that? It's not a bad thing. He didn't say it as a bad thing, but he's like, how come Savannah stopped being anxious and Danielle got all the anxiety um because and why he said that is because when I was little I didn't have any emotions I didn't allow myself to have any emotions I thought crying was stupid I thought expressing feelings was stupid and so I didn't open up about anything and so because of the fact that I just thought it was all stupid I just had my emotions shut off all the time so I didn't feel anything and so like, for example, really quick, um, people who watched the vlogs for a while knew our old dog Rocco. Um, when he, when we had to put him down, because he was really, really old and struggling, when he, when we had to put him down, I physically could not cry around my family. 
not because I didn't feel safe, not because of any of that stuff. It's just because I had trained my body for so long to not allow emotions. And so a lot has changed over the past couple of years. And I think that's a big thing with my anxiety lately is allowing myself to feel things is scary. It's, it's so scary. I'm sorry. It's so scary because I actually feel things and it's hard to be a big kid about these things. And so moving, even though I know it wasn't even really that far, yesterday I tried not to like show on the vlog a ton because I've gotten a little bit self-conscious about sharing my emotions on the vlog because I know there's a lot of people who aren't comfortable with it. And again, here's your little reminder if you're not comfortable with emotions and all these things, this channel's not for you because I want to be able to be open about these things. And so anyway, yesterday I wasn't really allowing myself to have emotions because I kept telling myself, it's stupid that you're having this anxiety. You're only living 10 minutes farther away. Someone else is living a lot farther than you are from your mom. And like, I kept trying to like, just like, justify why I shouldn't have anxiety, if, does that, if that makes sense. Like self-sabotaging in a way. And finally, I just like, it was so weird because um, we were at our other house and I was fine, but then driving away because I drove from my parents' house because I went and dropped off the vacuum and I drove from my parents' house and seeing on my phone that the map said that it was 20 minutes away just made me break down. And so I was crying, crying, crying in the car. And then I got to the house yesterday and I couldn't be alone. So every time Ty went upstairs, I would start to panic <laughs> and I asked him to just stay by me and I couldn't be by myself. Um, not for any particular reason. I think it's just because of the anxiety I'm having right now. And I'm trying to do right now. I haven't really been by myself in this house yet. So I had no company with me downstairs. She's freaking out. She's, she's a little bit scared of this house too. I'm not scared. That's, it's different. And after I was able to talk about it to Ty yesterday and he was able to validate it and stuff, I do feel a lot better. Um, like yesterday, I couldn't, I was struggling to not, not cry. Um, I'm really excited about this move, don't get me wrong. And I don't want people to sit there and I don't want anyone to go in the comments and say, oh, poor Danielle, poor this, I feel so bad. Like any, I don't want any of that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't need any of that. That's not what I'm saying. It's just, I'm expressing this. I'm gonna be able to look back in a couple years and be like, man, that was a hard thing that I did. And I did it, like, it was hard and yet I still did it. And be able to look back and congratulate myself instead of say, man, why was I such a wimp? Why was I, you know? And again, I know this thing is not a big deal. And I know there's people who are gonna say, you're not that far. And this is what I just kept telling myself yesterday because I was really invalidating myself yesterday is, it might be, it might be dumb. It might be irrational. It might be ridiculous. It might be all these things, but that doesn't make it any less real for you. That's what I was kind of saying to myself. Like, yes, it's irrational. It's only 10 minutes away. It's not bad. Um, yes, it's a little bit dramatic. Yes, all of these things, Yes, it's just anxiety, but that doesn't make it any less real than how it is for me right now. So, anyway, I actually feel like a lot of like pressure just now, really like off my chest from just talking about that. So if you guys listen to that, all of that, I appreciate it. Okay, so we are in bed. We're gonna have to bed because it is late a lot later than i thought we we're gonna be going to bed 
considering how tired we are, but <sighs> yawn break. But yeah, we're going to bed. So I'm not I don't know what do we have any plans tomorrow besides dinner? Um, probably do the kitchen. Yeah, probably just put the kitchen together. But, yeah. I guess we'll figure it out. Because we can't really start packing the new house until unpacking. like unpacking the new house until like two, three days from now. Um, till Monday, so Yeah, till Monday night. But well maybe Tuesday. It'll probably be Monday afternoon. I don't know. But Anyways, we're going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. Always remember, you, you are worth it. it. Bye, guys. Bye.